Hi, hi. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. I got it. Hey, hello everybody. I'm ready, man. I'm fired up. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Hey, Steve, what happened to Thai Sticks? The story of Thai Sticks like many of these stories about imported cannabis has a kind of sad ending. And what we learned over those years during the height of the imported cannabis thing was that windows would open and windows would close. And that's what happened with Thai weed. So the first Thai was this amazing, super high quality, really cared for sticks, wrapped beautifully, packed beautifully, great packages. They would even have little labels on them and stuff like that. But then everybody loved them and wanted more of them. And then they wanted more of them. And then they wanted more of them. And so what was happening on the ground in Thailand was that the really high quality Thai weed was wiped out pretty quickly. And so you started seeing Thai sticks that were a little bit drier, that weren't quite as aromatic, that weren't quite as sticky, that weren't tied quite as tightly, that didn't hold together quite as well. They were still great, still way better than what you could find any other kind of cannabis, but not what they were. And that process continued until we got to the point where the only Thai sticks that you could find were these miserable, dried up, horrible, things that were, all right, maybe still marginally better than the Mexican brickweed, but not anything like what they were. And then, then something really groovy happened. It was sort of the last blast of the ties, at least where I was living. Right around 1982, 83, this is way at the tail end of the tie thing, which started about a decade earlier. There was this magnificent load, several loads, of what we called Eagle tie in the beginning that was this amazing loose Thai weed. It wasn't on sticks, but it was just as good as the first Thais. It was just as sticky, it was just as aromatic, it was really amazing. We called them Eagle Thais because they came, the big bricks came, with a label on it, printed with a bird that looked to us like an eagle, but it turned out it wasn't an eagle, it was a sparrow hawk. Because the smuggler who had organized this load was a guy named Philip Sparrowhawk. And, and a little bit into that process, there was an even specialness within the specialness when the chocolate ties landed. This was like a whole nother new terpene profile that we had never even experienced. And of course, we didn't know to call it a terpene profile, but it was chocolate. I mean, it was chocolate, chocolate. So Philip Sparrowhawk's load of the beautiful chocolate tie was the last tie weed that I've ever seen. I'm sure it's still there in Thailand somewhere, but I haven't seen any on these shores. Well, I had a blast. I hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you did enjoy it, let everybody else you know know about the show and be sure to tune in next time. I'll see you then.